Hey guys, it's the Riker Day, and so it is time for the second video. How to replace your brake pads on the rear. I already did a video on the front, so if you want to check out the video, go to the channel page and check that out. Probably already know how to jack up a vehicle and remove the wheel. Jack stand, put a jack right here in the middle, and another one over here. Do this side. One little tip for you, a socket set with an attachment. To play NASCAR. Oh, I'm already... And that's how you can take those off quick. Pull this wheel off, put this right underneath. Yep, definitely need brake pads. All you're gonna do is take out this bolt right here and this bolt right here. Come off and you'll be able to get to the brake pads. Next thing, I gotta take the rotor off, so then I gotta take this caliper bracket off. It'll be another bolt back here that I'll show you in one second. Okay, now people always ask me what size is it? Well, it may be different, but for this one, it is a half inch. Break this free. Okay, so after we break this free right here and pull this out, one tip you may wanna know is that this nut right here will turn. So put a ratchet on the back bolt and then also a wrench on the other bolt so that you can break it free. Sometimes it's kinda in there tight because it's still squeezing. But you can just wedge this between like that. Once you get it loose enough, then you should be able to just jiggle it through. And so there is the caliper. So what we're gonna do is put that on top, close hanger, and you can wrap it around. That way it won't dangle and fall. Here is the caliper bracket. Pop out these brake pads and see. Yep, pretty low. Onto the caliper bracket bolt is right here what you're gonna want to use is a breaker bar so this is a 17 or no it's an 18 18 and on there and break it free and you definitely need this longer breaker bar extension now just like the front these caliper brackets I don't know why GM makes them so hard to get off but these big bolts back here are super super on there maybe they use a good lock Loctite type glue but obviously this one's never been changed but but you definitely need this breaker bar and a little bit of strength you'll never get it off with a short ratchet like that let's pull off these two uh, lock rings right here now these are different than the front because the front had a little uh, bolt right here going in here to lock that on there but these are just kind of a copper clip and you should be able to pull these off and these are more like a dome style to them that's what the rotor looks like from the rear let's do the other side okay so i got the other side off the calipers and yes as you can see this is going to be the reason why these rotors need to be turned no brake pad left at all and it's always on the inside it seems like very thin once i pull this off you'll be able to see the inside okay got the caliper back it off and this side was a little easier but still you're gonna need that breaker bar a few taps it should come off and here we go and inside okay and check this out boom just ground up so this is what it's supposed to look like nice and shiny and smooth but when your pads get low this is what it's gonna do go so take these and get them turned and then we'll put the new brake pads on well I guess bad news and good news <laughs> the bad news is those couldn't be turned so i had to buy new ones so i guess that's good too but anyway before we put these on i want to put some brake parts cleaner on them because they're packed with grease and oil so you want to clean that off before you put them on okay so here we go just slide them back on and give them a little push and there we go in reverse order so we're going to start with this caliper bracket then put in some brake pads and then put the caliper on i'll make sure you take these clips off the old one because the new brake pads will come with their own a little bit thicker than <laughs> these right here the bolts one on the top and the bottom okay caliper bracket is on but now it's time to put the brake pads in but first we got to pop the hood and take off the brake reservoir cap all right pop the hood and here's the brake fluid reservoir. We'll pop that off just so there's not extra pressure that breaks the uh, reservoir. Compress this caliper. I'm gonna use an old brake pad. I'm gonna put it in there like that. We use a C-clamp. Compress that piston. First squeeze. And it's starting to go in a little bit. Readjust. Second squeeze. There we go. And it'll start moving in and you just readjust this until you get it all the way back down about two or three four times maybe 
There we go. You can get it all the way pushed back in. What you think, puppy? What you think of this brake job? Oh, you just chilling out while I'm working? Okay. And if you come over here to your brake fluid reservoir, you can see that the level has gone up since we have compressed that. So you might want to get a rag in case it overflows a bit. Okay, snap your clips in. Push them down. Just like that. Here's the new outside pad. It's got this little, uh, this little wear uh, rod right there that will start squealing once they start getting low. On the top, and just push them in just like that. And squeeze on the back side. And make sure everything is snug and secure. Turn, and you should be good to put the caliper on. So I used just a zip tie to tie this up. Now we'll just take the caliper. Before you put these on, you might want to put just a little bit of grease right here, right where it rubs a lot, and right here on the piston. Put this caliper on, just slide it on, and there we go. All right, now time to put the bolts in. Top and bottom bolts. Top, bolt, bottom bolt, brackets on, spins good. Okay, all that's left to do is put this tire on. Actually, I'm probably going to clean it first, but do the same thing on the other side. So that is how you change your rear brakes and rotors on a 2014 GMC Yukon. It's going to be very similar for other GMC Yukons and Silverados, trucks, and Suburbans. So anyway, hope this video helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later.